in high school, I was the vice junior deputy tennis d d champion. Kinda. It doesn't. It was a weird thing. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. I was good. I come from him. Come at him from so many different sides. It's like a dodecahedron. It's like one side, two sides. His glasses. Like, who do you know who's good at tennis with glasses? You know, it doesn't add up. Like he can't see. With the black clay, concrete, uh, play doh, uh, water. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win, and that's all that matters. I can have two broken wrists and still beat Christopher. All right, we're here live at Racket Source. Today I'm joined by my co-host, Bob Jackson. Bob Jackson, Tom. Yes, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. Well, we had a stellar match today between our two uh, combatants. had such a epic match. Well, you know, for uh, if you were, if it's pretty one-sided, actually, uh, yes. the score was six one six one. No, actually, uh, we're getting a confirmation here. It's six zero six zero. Complete love game. Total prize money for uh, Leonard is uh, over uh, one thousand dollars and sixty-five cents, as uh, compared to Darbus's uh, two dollars and one penny. Must likely have played a child at the age of five years old. Uh, those numbers can't be accurate. I'm pretty sure uh, Mr. Leonard hasn't made any money playing tennis. He's not that good. Well, we we have a post-match interview with uh, two of our correspondents, didn't we, uh, Eric? Yes, we did. Let's get out to them right now. Matthew, Mr. Matthew. Hey, what's up? Yeah, you just finished your match over there. It seemed like you came away with a victory. Can you please elaborate on that? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I got the W today, and um, I mean... <sighs> There's a difference between, you know, levels, and I told him this before, and, I mean, he just had to visually see it. Some people don't learn by um, hearing things. They actually have to, uh, they're visual learners, so uh, that's, what I, that's what I gave him today, a visual. Well, well, well. Well, that kind of makes uh, sense. So, um, is there any possibilities of having a possible rematch, you know, between you guys since uh, it wasn't uh, as bad as we thought it was going to be? Um, like I said before, he knew this coming into the match that after we play, that's, it's no more. That's it. And, I mean, based on what I saw and uh, based on what the audience saw today, that um, a rematch wouldn't be necessary. Okay, okay. Um, so a rematch, I, I don't think there's going to be a rematch. Okay, okay. Uh, based off the tape, uh, it seemed that uh, Chris had an injury also. Well, uh, for my injuries... Let's uh, look at that right now. Well, that... <laughs> just so you know, the injury just really if just I may slowed add, me down. You, sound, you looked like a novice out there. You looked like you had no idea about what you were doing. Um, and it, it was basically a slaughter in, 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 in my eyes, honestly. So I uh, just wanted to get your opinion on that. Well, uh, injuries do play a part in uh, some losses, so uh, I can understand why you feel that way, but uh, that wasn't the case, uh, just uh, my opinion. All right. Was uh, everything that you said just a lie, just to uh, get a chance to hit a tennis ball for once? Uh, no, um, I disagree. Um, when I'm getting an injury, when I got an injury like that, uh, I can understand why it would seem like I don't know how to play tennis, but it really did affect my game. Um, moving slower out there couldn't hit my backhands the way I usually do uh, my forehands didn't have as much power into them because I couldn't like plant my legs so like I said these things happen so gotta play through gotta play through well that tape is actually a result of uh, him having a poor form in tennis so he wasn't able to uh, track down the ball and he uh, definitely slipped and fell all over himself Tom uh, that's definitely a sign of inadequacy and uh, unable to uh, have an IQ for the game I don't agree uh, the ecosystem and the elements out there that day uh, weren't in the favor of anyone and uh, 
Unfortunately, he fell to those circumstances and he got injured. Uh, Matthew Leonard has a vast career, over 15 years worth of tennis experience, going up against uh, basically what seemed to be like a novice out there, uh, Tom. He was definitely not hitting his backhands, his forehands were all over the place, and um, I, I really have not seen such terrible tennis in all my 20 years of covering sports. Um... Disagree. Uh, the match uh, didn't turn out the way that uh, we all expected it to be. We thought it was going to be more of a uh, closer match, I would well, think so. Well, uh, right. I don't know about you, but um, in my opinion, uh, the second he came out on the court, I realized that uh, we definitely weren't going to get the match that we wanted to see, but it was very satisfying. Wouldn't you say that, Aaron? Actually, I wouldn't say it's satisfying. Wait, hold on, Bob. What's that? We are getting some breaking news. Breaking, breaking news. news. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. All right. There has actually been an investigation started down at the court. Wow. Okay, there's been rumors about uh, performance-enhancing drugs uh, helping out uh, some tennis players who have messed up wrists. Would you say that applies to you or no? Um, it definitely didn't help him out if he was using that, but uh, me personally, I don't use anything like that. But I think he would have benefited by uh, using some kind of performance-enhancing uh, drug. There wasn't any drug testing, so I think he was free to do that. But, I mean, either way, I, I'm pretty sure he would have lost. All right. Well, there seems to be a lot of things up in the air. Um, what we can confirm is that Christopher did lose the match. Matthew did Definitely. win. Definitely. By a landslide, dog. We'll let the or sources Aaron. come out, and we'll see, uh, how it all plays out with the, uh, enhanced racket accusations and, uh, stuff like that. But thank you guys so much for watching Racket Source, your number one station for tennis news. I'm Bob Jackson. And I'm Aaron Goodwin. And we'll see you next time.